right, so this is video two of the Ascend 9R Sport kayak. And uh, what I want to do is kind of give a little walkthrough of the kayak and then uh, maybe talk about some mods that I plan to do to it. <clears throat> It's a $299 kayak. It's got a rating. I'm, a, I'm, in a lo I'm looking at the max capacity sticker on the side. It says one person or 275 pounds. I weigh a little over 200 pounds. I'll be able to take it out, sure. Um, anybody larger than me, they probably, this isn't the kayak for them. I honestly probably wouldn't even say that this is a, a top notch budget fishing kayak. It's not really set up for fishing, it's set up for sport, but we're going to go through some mods uh, to to get it uh, to the fishing uh, scenario. Mm. We'll go ahead and uh, start with, the, with the, the hole itself. It's thick. I mean, sitting next to my Hobie Outback, it's, the hole is just as thick. It's almost like a barge. Uh, I'm hoping that helps with stability. It's got 33 inch listed, oh no, not 33, 31 inch listed width on it. Um, the deck seems to be pretty wide. I'm hoping that it'll be stable to stand up and fish in. Uh, we'll find out. I'm sure my daughter at uh, 100 and probably 20 pounds max, this will be perfect for her uh, to, get her, to scoot around in. I'm hoping it tracks well, we'll find out. The rear deck, it's got a big deck, and it has two pad eyes on it on the rear for these straps. But if, if I wanted to put a uh, crate on it, there's no doubt in my mind that I could, I could figure out some way to, to rig this crate up. I do have extra pad eyes if I want to rivet them down into the, to the hole or screw them into the hole. I could do that. I'm actually thinking about just getting another set of pad eyes and putting it in the back and maybe crisscross some bungees and she could bungee a, a dry bag underneath there. I think that's all she'll need. These two deep trays here on the side but I think 3600s yeah 3600 would sit in there. It's got a, a bag with a lid for the one Pull access point with a screw on cap. The seat, I'm not going to lie, I don't know how comfortable it would be for an adult. Again, for 120 pounds youth, it should be okay. The very first mod I did put on it, in the bottom of the pad, I plan to put Velcro. Did put Velcro. For leg room, even for an adult, there's plenty of leg leg space. There's no foot pegs or foot stops. That could be a pretty significant negative. And of course I'd have to take it out in the water to find out, but yeah, I don't know. You could mount some in here, but I don't think I'd even spend the time to do it. We'll see what, how my daughter feels about it. But it's, the seat's comfortable. It's got kind of a memory foam to it. Of course, I haven't been in it for any significant amount of time. The uh, Sun Dolphin, the earlier versions, had a seat similar to this, and I spent eight hours on one on the, on the Buffalo. Well, not quite eight hours, about five hours on the Buffalo River in Arkansas. And once it was adjusted properly, it fit me fine and suited me fine. It has a channel for an oar on each side, but no hold down. I have a uh, oar clamp for the side <clears throat> on order that I can drill in, or I might just bungee strap because this is a nice channel that it fits in. 
I don't know. We'll see that at a later date. And then the I bought two of these for ten dollars. Came with the screws and the gasket. I think I'm only going to put one on here. I might put two. But my daughter will only be using one pole at a time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to get close-ups on this so that you can see <clears throat> the coloring, purple and uh, black, roto-molded, Ascend logo looks pretty nice in the front. It's actually a huge space. Granted, it's a budget kayak, but had they left that open and put a net on it, that would have been pretty nice. <clears throat> I'm not real big on the the circle hatches but <clears throat> I do like the open open bow or open tank well with the nets on them again a big foot area no uh, foot stirrups or stops one small circle hatch the seat so one inch thick foam the straps seem to be stitched and cross stitched well I did cut the tag off of the, the back. <clears throat> it said made in China exclusively for Bass Pro Shops. So it is made, the seat is made in China. You can already tell it's not quite. There you go, straight. There. <clears throat> I will tell you when I first got this and I grabbed the back handle where the seams are, the two is a two-piece uh, form. You can see the seam in here. It was pretty rough. I took a a uh, exacto knife and kind of trimmed some of it off so you wouldn't feel the seam on your hand. There is a drain plug. Now what we'll end up doing is we're going to flip this over so you can get to see the underside of the hole so as well. So here's the underside of the hole. Kind of got two, two channels to run down it. Six scupper holes. I'm hoping it'll track well. We will uh, find out. We can already see a little bit of wear right here. So this would be a place that you want to watch. There is no sacrificial keel, of course, because this is a cheaper kayak. Okay, so here's a uh, look at it after some mods I put on it. This is uh, the way it'll go out on its first journey with my daughter, I think. Again, $299 MSRP. I did not pay that for, for this. Um, I'm not claiming that it is a top-notch fishing kayak. Uh, when, in all actuality, the 9R isn't even made for fishing. It's more of a sport model. But I did look at some other models on the internet. The uh, the Brooklyn Kayak has one. It's a nine and a half foot sit on top. It's uh, six hundred and twenty seven dollars with a max capacity of three hundred pounds. The Perception Rambler is two hundred ninety nine dollars. It weighs forty seven pounds. It has a max capacity of two hundred and fifty pounds. The uh, Emotion uh, Spitfire Nine is three hundred and seventy nine dollars with a forty five pound uh, weight with a max capacity of 350 pounds and it's 31 inches wide. The uh, Pelican Challenger is $249. It, uh, it's only 30 inches wide but it does have a max capacity of 300 pounds and uh, the total weight on the, uh, the Pelican Challenger is 45 pounds. And then the Lifetime Tamarack uh, Angler. This is a, a kayak that can be bought on Walmart.com Right now the price is $270. I've seen it go as low as $240. In my opinion, it's probably the best under $300 kayak around. It uh, comes with two six-inch storage hatches, a, a rear and center hatch, two flush-mounted fishing pole holders, uh, a paddle keeper. It comes with a, a rod-mounted uh, pole, uh, not a rod-mounted, a track-mounted rod holder. Uh, and uh, again, it's under 300 bucks on Walmart.com, and it's pretty good, pretty good price. And there's some others out there, but 
anyways for the mods the uh, I went ahead and mounted a GoPro uh, sticky mount on the front of it and uh, a yak attack mighty mount so she can put her pole out front as soon as I open it, take it off, and then you can actually take that off and put whatever else uh, she wants on it. I went ahead and mounted Velcro to hold the seat bottom in place. Hopefully, it'll it'll hold a little bit better. And then a flush mounted rod holder. I put one on the back. I got two, but I think I'll save the other one just in case whatever kayak I get for my other daughter. If I need it for that one, if not, then I'll go ahead and slap it on here. It was, I mean, it was an easy process. I'm eventually going to put a pad eye probably here and here and then crisscross some uh, bungee cord in there to make a, a little cargo area but and we added some deck manning in the center and the cup holders in the tray and that's it we're going to go just like that I've got uh, I think it's 30 35 36 dollars in mods that I put on it on top of the the kayak and we're going to roll with it and see how she likes it for her first adventure. So hopefully the next video in this series of the Ascend series, you'll see her actually on the water. I haven't even took my Outback out yet. Monday, she, I have a day off from work and I'm hoping the weather's conducive so I can finally take this bad boy out and uh, give its maiden voyage here in Missouri. And then we'll get back to putting the daughter out on this one. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Give a shout out and a prayer out to uh, our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. Uh, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be the America that we are today. And I'm thankful and honored to uh, work with them and still working with them for the last uh, 29 years. Thanks for watching.